Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode of Working Class Music. I'm one of your hosts, Jason. And I'm Tia. And on today's episode, we're going to be having our Super Sonic Shootout. The Fender Super Sonic. How did we become familiar with it? And are they really that different from the legendary Vista to the paranormal? And we have a little surprise with the Pawn Shop series. Mm -hmm. So Tia, tell us about your history with the Supersonic. Okay, so to make a long story very, very quick, I have owned the Fender reissue Pawn Shop series Supersonic along with the Vista series Squire made in Japan Supersonic. And I sold both of them I regretted selling the Squire. I found the guy that I sold it to and I actually bought it back. I let the pawn shop go uh, just because the neck wasn't nearly as comfortable. The body did not feel nearly as comfortable. I mean, obviously they're cut the same, but the neck just did not give the same amount of creativity as the Squire, the Vista series did. Yeah. Squire versus Fender. Squire definitely won me over with this one. The Made in Mexico Fender reissue just did not stack up. So this is actually a little bit of an odd one. So this is, again, my 1996 Made in Japan Vista series Squire Supersonic, but it does have the pickups from a Made in Mexico Fender reissue. So this is gonna be a little bit of an odd one. So it's still gonna be Atomic Humbucking versus Atomic Humbucking pickup. And my history with this, uh, <laughs> funny enough, it was just to do this video like uh, the paranormal <laughs> came out and I've gone through all of them uh, unfortunately for my bank account I got the paranormal supersonic which came out this year one of the big differences this is made in Indonesia Indonesia it's made in China oh okay. it's made in China like the rest of the Squire classic vibe line or a former classic vibe line and the rest of the paranormal same original pickups I did get it set up because out of the box there was a bit of tuning issues so I did put heavier gauge strings on here just what are, what are you running right now I'm running the NYXL 11 to 56 okay so just to take a note on that I am a basic bitch and I am running some Ernie balls regular slinkies I'm the Ernie Ball green pack on this guy. I normally do super slinkies, but given the shorter scale, I had to go gauge higher. Part of the reason I added the bigger strings is in terms of sound, one, for me personally, it makes it a bit thicker. If you're playing a bit more rhythm stuff, you cuts through a tad bit more. Also, one of the things that's been mentioned in a few other reviews with Fender and a couple of their offsets is they're not really designed for nines, like light gauge strings. So that does play a part into the tension with the bridge. And basically it kind of helps staying in tune. Like I kind of just took the jazz master approach of, hey, let me put heavier gauge strings on this um, because I'm not using flat wounds. Let's also note that the Squire Supersonic does have a shorter scale length. So it's more like a Mustang's 24 inches, not the 25.5 that you're used to seeing on like a Strat, Tele, Jazz Master. One thing we definitely want to touch on especially since this person kind of inspired it. Yeah. Uh, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. There's the photo of him playing a jazz master. And there's a couple others of him playing a Jaguar as well, but it was mainly that jazz master photo playing it upside down. And that's what inspired the design of the Supersonic. Yeah, wish I had a jazz master yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, side by side. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Flip the guy. Same deal with uh, the Firebird too. It yeah. was kind of like a jazz master call for Gibson. So yeah, Fender also did the Pawn Shop series. They also did a reverse Jaguar bass, which is also pretty cool. Oh me, me. Oh oh yeah, I have that. I have the the bass that they're talking about. Yeah. Back to the video. Other than that, if you don't know, the Fender Squire, as some people say, or Squire Paranormal series, is new for this year, and they're exclusive to this year. Once they're gone, they're gone. So you can pick them up at any of your preferred retailers. Uh, one more thing to mention, there it's the is the body. Well, the body and there's no tone control. Yes. So for the rare people who do not know, because a lot of people think it's like a factory defect, it's just two volumes. Yeah. So it's going to be volume, volume, and there's no tone control unless you rewire them. So mine is an oddball. I wanted mine to go neck and neck and then bridge and bridge. So if we're going from stock specs. Yeah, from stock specs. This guy is going to be the neck pickup and this guy is going to be the bridge pickup. Other than that, the one of the biggest difference is going to be the body. I believe this is poplar and this I know is, this is basswood. Yep, basswood. Yep. So that's going to be a big tone difference. Also, rosewood neck versus Indian laurel. Similar, yeah, aesthetic, similar family. Aesthetically, obviously, yeah. they look identical. Is there going to be a big difference between the sound? Yeah. We'll Let's find, find out. out. 
Yeah. Okay. So, as far as amps go, we're running through a 69 basement with a 70s 215 Sun Cab with the original speakers. And a 90s Holy Girl reverb. So, pretty, pretty basic. This is just, you know, clean with some reverb. This is the 2020 Chinese made Supersonic by Squire. I'm really liking this uh, this neck pickup. It sounds like really nice and like warm. These these strings are kind of killing me though. These are <laughs> I I have got like tiny child sized hands. Yeah. So this is like a workout. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is kind of tough. So yeah, bear with me. Like... Oh boy. By the end of this, Tia's mus like fingers are gonna have like ab muscles. Right. I'm just saying, if it's Jazz Masters, I'm putting elevens on there. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not playing any of your guitars then. No man. <laughs> Send it off to you. This, right. this is your baby. This is where you're most comfortable, right? Yeah, I would say this is where I'm most comfortable. Surprisingly, which I should probably add, I'm typically a neck pickup guy, but I found on this guy the bridge pickup Spanx. Okay. And I guess that's the term I can use Spanx. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. takes overdrive really well. I would say that this guitar, just for Super Sonic in general, since it came out in 96, was designed for like alternative distortion overdrive and it takes it rather well. I can definitely see that because like that was around the time period that uh, Fender slash Squire also did like the Venus. Yeah. Remember the whole Courtney Love one? Yeah. I, we should get one of those for review. They're super hard to find, at least for a reasonable amount of money. There was a guy who actually like designed the Supersonic, but I forgot his name. There are some notable players, obviously Omar, you know, Rodriguez mm. Lopez. And, and Nick uh, Reinhardt. Yep. I guess that's it for this guy. I'm sure we'll definitely get some drive sounds in it, like, you know. A little bit later. A little bit later. Next, on to the Vista. Okay, so something to keep in mind before we kind of dive into this part. My selector switch is kind of broken from the guy that I rebought it from. It was this dude up in Alaska. Super nice dude. Did not really know too much, so he kind of broke the selector switch. It won't stay. Oh no. I can't keep it on the bridge pickup. Oh no. Legit. <laughs> you like, won't say. That just happened. Yeah. He's busting out the tools. So I think you just really have to press it down. Oh man, I gotta really like feel the difference between the necks. Yeah. It is like it's night so and day. Weird. Like it feels so much thinner. And I've, is, again, I've got tiny hands, so this is a lot more comfortable. Also, one thing we should know is the truss rod. Yeah, so up here you've got the bullet versus just kind of like the standard, yeah. like what they do for like a lot of squires and fenders. Yeah. So the bullet you typically get on like 70s reissues. I don't know why they did it for the Supersonic, but I like it. I think it's cool.
so quick thing to note this is my first time actually playing this guitar so this is a complete like first impression yeah So okay, so this is my initial first takeaway from uh, playing this from my smile. <laughs> this is an amazing guitar. I can see why they're so highly sought after. Holy crap, this is really awesome. I'll compare and contrast, or we'll compare and contrast, but from a first, first time playing, that's... I will say that this one does sound a lot darker than that one. Mm -hmm. I will say that that one definitely seems to jump out a bit more in the mix, but like every time I pick up and feel this neck, I'm just like, oh. Boy. I was trying to figure out what shape the neck is. I know this is a C-shaped neck, but I wasn't quite sure on this one, and I don't want to say something and have the internet crucify me. <laughs> it's actually a U-shaped neck? Uh, it's, it's actually a, a Squire D-shaped neck. It's very yeah. rare. The neck is super comfortable. Online, when I did some research, it, some places had them listed as like a 7.25, but mm -hmm. even that doesn't feel right because some of the Jaguars that I've played, like they just feel very like fat and like just in my hand. It's like just... That's what she said. Again, I've got small hands, so it just like fills up my hand a lot. That's what she said. <laughs> but this one is just very slim. It almost feels like an Ibanez, but like with a little bit more meat. Ah, so. and I know with this guy, I think it's a modern nine point, or no, is it seven? It's a 9.5. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Across the board, I want to say all of the paranormals all have a 9.5 radius neck. Huh, did not know that. Yeah, because the vintage Jazz Masters, they have a 7.25. I will say one of the things that in comparison, like from first coming from this to that, is this is noticeably darker in tone. Some may prefer that, but I think the Vista just sounds right. In comparison, I think this will definitely get you there without dropping $900. <laughs> but overall, this is, this is just killer. The Vista is awesome. The pickups are a bit darker, but I don't know if it's due to the pickups or just the difference in wood? That is a really good question. Like I never honestly considered that. From my perspective, I am pretty, I guess, short-sighted with this. I think of pickups. I don't think of body wood. I think of neck wood because I am definitely a fan of rosewood. I don't really prefer maple. If I can get rosewood, ebony's cool, but if I can get rosewood, I get rosewood. <laughs> I'll just stick with Everlast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and here's the middle position. Here's the neck position. This thing sounds amazing, like takes drive well. Like I said, I think this is just like a 90s rock machine. There's not, like, not a huge difference between like both and the and the the neck with the with the overdrive on. I mean, it takes dirt really, really well. There's no doubt about it. I would say my favorite position, still clean, is gonna be the neck, but mm. like even just all the way back here, just. I was gonna say the bridge is my favorite position as far as the dirt goes. Yeah. Clean, it can go either or, but as far as the dirt, that bridge. No dirt, it definitely, it takes like a champ. Onto the Vista. Oh man, something small I just noticed. Uh, yours doesn't have the, the stripe. You're right. Skunk. Skunk stripe. There is no skunk stripe on the back. 
That's no good. I mean, it's probably just save on production costs. But one thing that they do have that's both in common, if you can see it. Yeah, no, they both got the S on yeah, the They both got the S. Super Sonic. <laughs> Super Sonic. I don't know. To me, this has more body. Like, just right away. Just... <laughs> It definitely sounds like it has more body. Um, like there's just more presence. Yeah, uh, which is weird because I feel like with drive, this cuts through more. Um, clean, this cuts through more. I can see that. Which is, which is a weird thing. So real quick, how did you feel about the neck pickup in this one again? I actually like the neck pickup in that one. I like both pickups on that one. Okay, if we're doing a three score system, All right. the bridge, I like on this one. Okay. Bridge and neck on that one and neck on that one. I think once you get to the bridge and neck on this one, there's not a huge sonic difference. Now, the big question is, with the rising price of the Vista series, is it worth it or should you save your pennies and go with the paranormal? My thought is the Vista is worth it. The Vista is definitely worth it. I mean, my first reaction was like of utter joy. I think the Vista sounds and plays better. It's definitely worth every penny, so if you can find one, get one. I think the Atomic Humbuckers are the added spice to that. Now, with that said, I think if this is gonna be the more economical option, oddly enough, out of all the paranormals, this is the more economical version. I think if you just want a flavor of the Supersonic, this is gonna be it. So, you know, if you wanna pick one up for $350, that you can't beat it. Yeah, no, 350 that is a steal of a guitar. Like even on, you know, used sites, eBay Reverb, these are selling for like seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars $900. I've seen some sell for well over a grand. Yeah. But if you are, you know, looking for something that isn't gonna be your only guitar, if you're looking for something that is pretty easy to come by, I would definitely hop on yeah. one of these. And bear in mind, like uh, most recent Squires, uh, like the Baritone Jazzmaster, yeah. I would recommend picking one up because after these are produced, they typically go up in value. Don't hold me to that. I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but most Squires recently and of yesteryear have risen in value dramatically. Is it worth it? I think both are worth it. And if you want to grab one of these Supersonics, I suggest doing so. I don't know, I don't think Tia's going to be selling hers, and I probably won't be getting rid of this guy, so check out any of your... Local retailers, yes. honestly. We are working class music. <laughs>